Hello YouTube, this is Isaac uh, coming back at you with a little video after a while. My last video I showed you some a little circuit I was prototyping that was going to become the preamp of a power amp I was building. Well, I finished the amp and after a couple of problems it's working and it sounds pretty good so I'm going to share that with you today. Uh, you might see it back there right behind me. Uh, in a second I'll zoom in on the circuit and then I will play something for you. So, uh, I guess while I zoom in on the circuit, I will describe what it is. There is the front of the amp right there. It's in an old uh, radio that I found at the thrift store at the Goodwill. It's a tube, it was a tube radio. And I basically completely gutted it and put uh, new circuitry in there. Uh, what you can see in there, these two things are my transformers. I have a dual setup there. This is the power supply. This basically is filtering it. And then there is a regulator chip for the preamp that's giving me 12 volts. This board right here is the preamp. This is uh, the Professor Tweed circuit from runoffgroove.com that I uh, showed in an earlier video. And I've only modified this to uh, allow a little bit more bass to come through, which is good for harp. And... Um, also change the gain on it with this uh, one capacitor here that I have socketed. Uh, and then this right here is the power amp uh, module. Uh, originally I was going to build an LM38861 that was going to do point to point, but of course I fried that by wiring up the uh, positive and uh, negative voltages incorrectly. Uh, so I ordered this. This is an LM1875, a slightly smaller wattage chip. I got this from QKits.com. Uh, it's a really well put together kit. The uh, everything came that you see here except for the heat sink. These are fuses to protect it. Uh, the actual L uh, IC is down in there. Maybe you can see it. Maybe not. And it's going to put out about 20-25 watts with the voltages that I got here, which is plus and minus about 23. Uh, then on the front, you can see the controls. Uh, this is tone right here. This is gain. This is volume. This is uh, right now a bypass switch for the preamp. It's uh, Later I'm going to put in a second preamp so it's going to switch to maybe a clean channel or something. This is power on off. This is the effects loop. So I build an effects loop so this can go out to, I don't know, reverb or echo or something and come back in and be fed to the power amp. And then of course out the back is a little speaker cable, uh, just a regular jack. And it's going to my home built cab that I've used for pretty much every uh, movie that I've had on here. Uh, I have it out the door facing the other way because uh, this thing is pretty loud and in this little tiny room that I do this kind of stuff in, uh, it's just too much sound. It hurts my eardrums and I get feedback. So I'm going to put the camera down now and play for you just a couple of samples. Let me just make sure you can see me. Uh, that should do. What I'm going to do is play for you first through uh, a low harp. This is a G harp. Uh, just some standard stuff. And then I'm going to play through a high harp and you can hear how it sounds. Alright, that's loud, isn't it? So let's just play standard stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
tight cup. to the D harp and I'll play something maybe a little faster. change the game. Uh, pretty much a dirty preamp. There's really not a lot of variation. The tone control is subtle at best, I say. This is a, a circuit that's modeled on, a, modeled on a Princeton Tweed circuit. So basically it's the exact same topology uh, with some slight change to make it solid state. And so the gain and tone is about as effective as it is in that cir uh, original circuit. I can turn your to weirdly but that's sort of a more that's sort of the cleanest sound you can get out of this particular circuit which is why I have this switch in here that I'm going to change so there's going to be a clean preamp maybe just a one transistor circuit just a clean boost uh, and I'll make this thing just a little bit more functional. But uh, anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, my main point was to perhaps show the general audience that you can sound good without tubes and anyone can learn how to do this kind of stuff. I mean, a few months ago I really didn't understand anything and through the wonders of the internet and a lot of helpful people on forums, especially I'm going to sh give a shout out to the Solid State Guitar Forum. Uh, those people have really have been helpful and give me a lot of good ideas and a lot of good feedback and probably wouldn't have been able to do any of this stuff if it wasn't for uh, places like that. So next time I, I got another project lined up, another amp, different circuits. Uh, I'm going to build a looper, a sort of phrase sampler that's in the works. I got, uh, oh, I'm going to build a wireless mic. I have the circuit to sort of power, not wireless, what am I talking about? One of those uh, powered um, uh, condenser mics that's small for your lapel. I got a little circuit I'm going to build to power that. And, uh, oh, I also have uh, plans in the work to build my own reverb unit. So stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff to do in my spare time. Uh, until then, catch you on the flip side.